Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Declare it to the distant lands. Behold, our Savior will come. You need no longer fear. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, today's Mass is being offered for Manoj Hillary. Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May our prayer of petition rise before you. We pray, O Lord, that with purity unblemished, we, your servants, may come as we desire to celebrate the great mystery of the incarnation of your only begotten Son. Who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The desert and the posh land will exalt. The steppe will rejoice and bloom. They will bloom with abundant flowers and rejoice with joyful song. The glory of Lebanon will be given to them, the splendor of Carmel and Sharon. They will see the glory of the Lord, the splendor of our God. Strengthen the hands that are feeble, make firm the knees that are weak. Say to those whose hearts are frightened, be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication. With divine recompense, he comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag, then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will birth forth in the desert and rivers in the steppe. The burning sands will become pools and the thirsty ground springs of water. The abode where jackals lurk, lurk will be marsh for the reed and papyrus. A highway will be there called the Holy Way. No one unclean will pass over it, nor fools go astray on it. No lion will be there, nor beast of prey go up to be met upon it. It is for those with a journey to make, and on it the redeemed will walk. Those whom the Lord has ransomed will return and enter Zion singing, crowned with everlasting joy. They will meet with joy and gladness, 
sorrow and mourning will flee. The word of the Lord. I will hear, our God will come to save us. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. God will come to save us. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. God will come to save us. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him, and salvation among the way of his steps. God will come to save us. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Behold, the king will come, the Lord of the earth, and he himself will lift the yoke of our captivity. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. The Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. One day, as Jesus was teaching, Pharisees and teachers of the law, who had come from every village of Galilee, in Judea, in Jerusalem, we're sitting there, and the power of the Lord was with him for healing. And some men brought on a stretcher a man who was paralyzed. They were trying to bring him in and set him in his presence. But not finding a way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and lowered him on the stretcher through the tiles into the middle in front of Jesus. When Jesus saw their faith, he said, As for you, your sins are forgiven. Then the scribes and Pharisees began to ask themselves, Who is this? Who speaks blasphemies? Who but God alone? can forgive sins. Jesus knew their thoughts and said to them in reply, what are you thinking in your hearts? Which is easier to say? Your sins are forgiven or to say, rise and walk? but that you may know that the Son of Man 
has authority on earth to forgive sins. He said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, rise, pick up your stretcher, and go home. He stood up immediately before them, picked up what he had been lying on, and went home, glorifying God. Then astonishment seized them all, and they glorified God. And struck with awe, they said, we have seen incredible things today. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Before Jesus was born of the Virgin Mary, became man, before Christmas <coughs> came, we were stuck in our suffering and in our fear. But still knowing that everything is possible with God. And so in that time before the first Christmas, we waited with hope. And so it is now. We do experience sufferings. We do have problems that we face. We are stuck in fear. But we know that everything is possible with God. And so we have hope. We are not overwhelmed. We look forward eagerly with anticipation to his coming again. And so we know that all things are possible with God. We heard in the gospel today the story of Jesus healing the paralytic. And it's a beautiful story. The man couldn't get into the house because of the crowds and so they lowered him in through the roof, removing the tiles. It may be thought that it was impossible, but indeed it became possible. They found a way for him to reach Jesus. And as a result, both his sickness and his sins were healed and forgiven fully. We need to remember we need to be creative in having hope and in finding ways to know that God can do all things. All things are possible with God. Let us pray. For the Pope's monthly intention, we pray that volunteer nonprofit organizations committed to human development find people dedicated to the common good and ceaselessly seek out new paths to international cooperation. We pray to the Lord. For Bishop Sean, that he will receive all the graces he needs to help the people of Sacred Heart in Waltham as they transition away from being a parish staffed by the Franciscans 
through diocesan administration. We pray to the Lord. For our soldiers and police as they defend us from unjust aggressors, we pray to the Lord. For all who are sick and in distress in any way, especially those listed in the bulletin, we pray to the Lord. For those who have died, especially Manoj Hillary, we pray to the Lord. Almighty and ever-living God, we pray to you with confidence as we acknowledge our weakness and unite our prayers to the prayers of St. Jude, St. Joseph, and especially with the perfect prayer of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. Through Christ our Lord, amen. We have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have offered, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Will it accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and good for our good and the good of all this holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you, with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. He's very unjust. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, 
we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, with Robert, his auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Come, O Lord, visit us in peace, that we may rejoice before you with a blameless heart.
Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord, amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.